Hey, patrons, this is Nathan. This is the prologue. That's right, the prologue to the third Patreon episode, which will be coming out later this week. Uh, and before I can start the prologue, I need to give you like a, a prologue to the prologue. <laughs> It's very confusing, but it all makes sense. So we sat down to record the episode um, that, again, will be coming out later this week, episode three, for our patrons, and we've got to do our warm-up. And so we do our three-line dialogue, which is what you will be listening to in just a moment. But we also do uh, one other warm-up before our three-line that we don't record because they're not <laughs> they're not usually important. Um, but this time, this one was. And we do a couple different games. The one that we did this uh, this time was a game called like um, I actually remember what we call it but basically one person asks for help and then the other two of us take turns providing like a tutorial like step by step of how to help them so Jake had said hey what is the best way for me to sort my Yu-Gi-Oh cards because he had just spilled all of them um, in his house and wanted a better way to sort them so between Jamie and me we came up with this ridiculous process which is normal right? it's supposed to be silly ridiculous improv not supposed to make sense um, but it's relevant. I have to tell you this because it's relevant to the warm up, which is relevant to the show. So the process we said was that you had to go to the library. You had to find Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate events and take as many of them as you can. Bring them home because inside each one is a key um, and you have to find once you get all those keys, you have to find the key that screams and then you need to take that screaming key and shove it up your butt and give it a twist and when you do that it'll open up your third eye and reveal to you the card dimension and then you throw all your cards in the card dimension and it'll sort them for you now we had a we had a couple laughs at just that whole process because it's very ridiculous um and i have to tell you that because because it comes up again it comes up again later so uh that's the prologue to the prologue so, uh, without further ado, the three-line dialogues. Cool. I have one. Bye. Okay, go for it, Chief. Nathan. Cool. <clears throat> okay. I bought three packs. You bought three packs. We open them. The agreement was, any cards open to the card shop, I get the reds, you get the blues. All right, Daniel? Let's go. <laughs> oh. Uh, all right, <laughs> Phil. Ooh, boy. Let's see the first one. And, okay, I already got one of those. That's fine. And this one. Okay, I already got one of those. That's fine. There's going to be a good one here, Phil. I know I know it's going to be some good cards here eventually. I mean, we got to pay for college somehow. We're hey, going to get that you, shiny legendary first edition. What are you lamos doing over here? You you nerd nerdos. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? What have you done, JB? <laughs> is this is were... this is this quad line dialogue? What? I we're doing we three were... line dialogue, Jamie. This is three line? Jesus yes. Christ! I thought you guys were doing a really weird cold open. <laughs> no, I was so lost. Oh what God. on earth? <laughs> three line episode two. <laughs> <laughs> why, didn't you say, why didn't you say who you were going towards? He did. He said, did do it. you did? Nathan? Let's do this, Nathan. Oh, I did, I did not hear that. I oh was my so God, lost. That's so good. I thought you were starting. What? That's why, like, okay, no, we 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 did the clapping thing and like started our recordings, and I forgot that three line was a oh. thing. So I oh. thought we were starting the episode, and you were like, "I have one," and I was like, "Cool." Oh my Jake God. has a cold open ready to go. Great. I, no. I had I had a very real, visceral, <laughs> emotional reaction to you. I was offended. Like, talking. I was r- upset. <laughs> I was like, "How fucking dare? Who the fuck do you think you are coming in for here into our three line? Stay over there in the fucking listening Wait section. Your turn. Wait oh. your turn. Wait your God. No I was like, clue. Has he changed the game? Is this a new three line? <laughs> Is this, this four has been lines? A prank. This is a prank video all along. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. I thought we were starting the episode and you were wow. just being really weird about it. I oh, that was amazing. Anyway, I'm extremely Phil, sorry. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I'm George. looking for. <laughs> we're looking for the shiny, legendary first edition Flamio to pay for our college. And so far, all I'm getting is Digbert's. Just a (laughs) bunch of Digbert's. 
What did you get, Phil? My lifelong <laughs> friend. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> it's the Starfoil. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh, no. It. You can't leave me like that. The Starfoil. I guess we did get everything pretty established, like, within that first line. So, like, there was really nothing else we needed to do. There was a uh, there was a TV playing really loud, <laughs> and on the TV there was a bully character. Yeah, on the That's... TV it was Back to the Future, and Biff yeah. was on the screen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> while they were opening their cards. <laughs> <laughs> while Jimmy says you're so fucking excited to get into three line, why don't you go next? So yeah, why don't you start this one? <laughs> to Jay, so fucking horny to talk. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. How about you give your butt key a twist and open up your third eye so you can figure out what we're doing? <laughs> oh, we're gonna this, have to bleep that entire sentence because it won't make any goddamn sense. Of any episode, <laughs> <laughs> give your butt key a twist and open your third eye. Do we need to start recording literally everything now? <laughs> that's 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 business, wow. baby. We could just release, like, that, like, four-minute chunk and put it on Facebook. I mean, we didn't so record that it. Line, yeah. you're, so, hey, Jamie, since you're so horny to talk, why don't you give your butt key a twist and open up your third eye? That was a, that was a <laughs> sentence you said. That was, ever spoken. out of context, one of the wildest Ooh. things I've ever heard in, in my human context. life. In so context, it was not much better. It's not much better. <laughs> Oh, okay. Language is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh so I and I go to I I speak towards Jake, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Holy shit. Uh, you'll you'll be shocked to learn that I am not in any way prepared for three line. Um Roderick. Roderick, look. Over over the second hill. As as the sun peeks up over the over the horizon, I've never seen of the rare sighting of the blue feathered s- swooper wool in all my years of bird watching, Roderick. <laughs> it's it's said to be one of the uh, rarest and and most valued uh, birds a bird watcher could ever hope to see. <laughs> Did you say the blue footed swooper wool? I I believe I said feathered. Blue feathered. Okay. Yeah. Quintrill. Quintrill. <laughs> I have trained my entire life for the moment that I might see a blue feathered swooper wool. <laughs> I have mastered its call. Quintrill. <laughs> I shall try to call it over. No. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> Is it working, Quencho? <laughs> you have the binoculars. <laughs> Roderick. <laughs> Roderick, it would it would seem <laughs> it would seem that they're coming for us, Roderick. <laughs> on charges of public indecency. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll be in jail before dawn. <laughs> the birds? The bird jail. You. You're going to bird jail. Fuck you. Go back to bird jail. That's right. They kept putting the key up my bum. Naughty bird watchers go to bird jail. I love how in three line we just keep saying everyone's names. Roderick. Roderick. <laughs> because they're fun. They're Cidric. fun names to say. Quintrill. Quintrill, that's the name. Quintrill. That's like half the line. Quintrill. Quintrill. I'm pretty sure Quintrill. Look at what I can do, Quintrill. Quintrill sounds like the name of a bird, so that tracks, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Bird jail. You know what? I don't know if this is cheating, but I know my next scene. Might have gotten, <laughs> might have gotten my bird calls mixed up there. <laughs> that was oh, a very man. good bird call. Oh. I, I was intending human police officers, but yours was way better. <laughs> this is way better. <laughs> <sighs> All right, here's yeah. Here we go. Here's the next one yeah. to Jamie. Of course. Ding ling 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 ling. Ding ling ling ling. 
Ding, ding, ding. This is me moving a metal cup across the bars because I'm in jail. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> uh, this is just how it is, Mr. Cardinal. Welcome to bird jail. Oh, my God. I've been here a long time. I know my ways around the nest. So, uh, if you need anything, if you need anything, uh, you need some, some worms, some seed, some keys up your butt, just let me know. I know the Damn way it. around here. This is a whole new context in bird jail. But, god damn it. But, uh... Careful with that word. Don't throw that word around in bird jail. Yeah, you gotta be careful. <laughs> but old man, uh... Old man Falcon, uh... Where where were you able to get all of the the worms and the seeds and everything? I... I where... This... This... This cell... <laughs> this cell is completely inescapable to birds. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I have been able to leave for most of my life, all four years. <laughs> but while it's inescapable to birds, it's very easy for worms to come in. Every time it rains, they just boop, pop their heads up out oh, the yeah. ground. So you just you just gotta wake up early. <laughs> hey, and then you hey. get them. <laughs> That's so what I've pretty, heard. You'll figure it out, young, young, uh, young buck, young chick. <laughs> Young and you'll be fine. And see, <laughs> and see, <laughs> yeah. Bird you know jail. that does make sense. Yeah. Uh, fun fact: uh, falcons can live up to fifteen years and sometimes longer. So. Really? Uh, I had no idea how long a falcon lives. So I just... Yeah, me neither. I was like, oh, I wonder if falcons would you. die before then. <sighs> I'm really, I'm a little disappointed that you he wasn't old man Swooper Woo, but. Super, super the, they're too elusive, so of course. Yeah, they haven't been caught. You think the police right, got right. them? You think the bird think, police? You think bird police them? got those? Does bird jail? Does bird jail arrest both birds and bird watchers? Because if so, that's that's a recipe for disaster. Maybe they don't know they're bird watchers. It was a perfect call. Oh, okay. Yeah, they they, they thought like, let's go get them. Let's get they, one of those rules. Yeah. They are fairly sure. They're at least sixty percent sure that they're just very large birds. They had never seen a blue feathered super wool before, um, so they don't know. Are the birds arresting the humans? Is what I'm yes. trying to figure. Okay, yes. they yes. are. Okay, yes. The birds yes. also thought that the humans were a blue feathered. What the fuck is that? Is that what we're getting at here? That's a different bird, Jamie. <laughs> Whatever you said was a different bird. A blue yeah. feathered swooper wool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the, has that's never the bird. been caught. Of course. That's the bird we're talking about. Of course. Today. And therefore, bird police have no way of knowing that they don't <laughs> camouflage themselves as bird as watchers. People. That's what they're thinking. That's what they're thinking. Their next level disguise is they disguise as the people. It's genius. <laughs> is, we're getting we're getting way too close to to birds aren't real territory. <laughs> Don't you dare ever say that the uh, blue feathered swooper wool isn't real. That is not what I was. I've implying. trained my entire life to master its call. <laughs> that's not what I was implying at all. <sighs> it was actually more the reverse of that. We were getting towards the humans aren't real. Yeah. Yeah. Humans. Humans are just birds. <laughs> People are just birds in a really good and if disguise. If you really think about it, yeah, evolution. <laughs> <laughs> My brain just fucking unprompted just spat out the phrase "a cab." All cops are birds. <laughs> it's really messing with me right now. I don't know how to handle this. Okay. <laughs> All right, I think we need to ride off yeah. that energy. Yeah. Well, thanks for listening to that prologue episode. The actual episode three will be coming out later this week, probably on Friday. Um, so en enjoy that when it comes out. And yes, what you just listened to is relevant. It does come up for some of the jokes. And we thought it was pretty funny, so we thought you'd, you'd want to hear it too. So that's all I've got for now. See you guys later.